Hello, this is a quick how to guide to get the most out of your Cyberlink Power DVD 15. This is mostly targeted to Steam, but you don't have to be a Steam, uh, have a Steam version to do this. Uh, my copy I'm using is currently not a Steam copy, it is a digital download from the website itself. So, uh, uh, what I did is I uninstalled everything completely cleaned it out of my system and reinstalled everything so I can give you a out of box experience and how to tweak it to get the most out of your software. So the first thing you'll see when you start up is this window. Don't worry about doing any of the quick links, just click next step. Next step. Don't redeem your cloud. I personally don't use it. I think it's kind of useless to come with a media a media suite or player it's absolutely useless and uses more uh, system resources than I'd care to admit or they probably care to admit so don't worry about doing that just go next step go yes no I go no just because I don't like to have the extra traffic whatever going through the network click config so here you got the first thing you see now the first thing I'm going to show you before you tweak anything else is task manager details if this is Windows 8 if you're on Windows 7 it would be considered uh, processes so uh, here you see we got one I'm gonna sc scroll here we got one two two cyber links and we will scroll down and we got three power power DVD fi uh, processes uh, take note of this agent 15 so what we're going to do is once you have the first thing loaded, immediately close it. Just outright close it. You notice power agent didn't go and these two didn't go. So the first thing you do is end the tasks on these two. Go down to power agent, end the task on this one. And then close it. Next thing you'll do, if you're on Windows 7 or any Windows, click Run, type in msconfig like I did, hit OK. Because I'm running Windows 8, things are slightly different, but for the most part, click on Startup. Now, if you're Windows 7 or lower, you'll have a list. Find anything that says CyberLink or PowerDVD, uncheck it. If you're on Windows 8, open up the Task Manager, go to Setup tab, and you should have one called PowerDVD15. Right-click and go Disable. Close it close it now the next thing you want to do is jump directly to your power DVD folder if you're when if you're in Steam this will be in your app data common if you're not like I am it'll be right here so you'll go here or wherever your power DVD find something called agent.exe right click it type dot bak and then go yes now if you can't see the dot exe go to view uh, ch uh, fi uh, check file file name extensions if you're in Windows 7 you will have to go into file options let's see if I can do it with Windows 8 I'm not sure if I can but if you're in Windows 7 go control panel folder options view and check uh, uncheck hide extensions from file so make sure that's unchecked if you're on Windows. So once you've done that, you will notice that you should have no processes for for either CyberLink on this side or PowerDVD. So once you do that, go back to your PowerLink. Go to Settings and we'll work at the top which is up here first thing you do is uncheck for product information this works great especially if you're on Windows uh, if you've got a Steam version it'll do uh, Steam will do it for you if you're on a retail version you can keep it checked or not I don't 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 have it running with startup and you can do some of these yourself like if you really want automatic play next video that's up to you so we will work our way down quickly keep that for the most part these should be fine same here. Uh, whatever you do, don't change your regions. Uh, just leave it as is. Especially here too. Just leave it all as is. 
Because if you start changing regions, you only got five, but right now it's got it's got none whatsoever. Cyberlink Cloud, uncheck Cyberlink Cloud, and then clear offline cache. Don't even use it. It's absolutely just garbage. Um, same th a conversion set has set how Powerlink converts files before uploading. I'd uh, uncheck these as well because we don't use the cloud or shouldn't use the cloud. Uh, movie information, uncheck movie information features. This just frees up network traffic and other useless stuff that this program likes to do. And don't worry about automatic sign in, you won't need this. Um, as you can see, title region code not available, blah blah blah, not available, which is fine, not specified. You want to make sure your pl uh, player region code is not specified. So once you got that, go preferences. Go UI, you can pick whatever you want. You know, it just changes the background there. Here, in the media panel, to clean things up, uncheck everything. Because, frankly, you don't need it, because you just want it strictly for music. Uh, I'm Not even music, you just want it for your... Uh, Blu-rays and your DVDs. This is this for most part can be a up here could be a set. Uh, just keep it the way it is. I mean, you don't really need to share on Vine or share or up well upload YouTube or that might actually come in handy. But you don't. I personally don't. But you probably don't need to share on Flickr, Vine, but anyways, for the sake of this argument, we'll just keep them enabled because it's just a button that you click. Media library, this is important. Trash everything you see. And keep show disconnected items unchecked. Once you trash everything, sharing folders, make you probably won't need this in 3D setup, just leave it. Except for me, I like to increase more 3D. Once you've done that, hit OK. The media spinning thing on here should have ended. Now we'll look over at the task manager again. We'll sort it by... Uh, as you notice, we got two of these. These come up because of the... Uh, the um, media library. So... Uh, Next time we load it, it shouldn't come up at all because we just can't. As you notice, power uh, the agent no longer loads when the app loads, which is good because when you close this, it should have closed. It should still be closing, but apparently it's not. So we'll just end task right now. Make sure these two up here are end task. We'll load it one more time. As you can see, no new tasks up here showed up because your media library isn't doing anything, which is good. Over here, we got the power DVD. We'll close it one more time. As you see, it properly closes this time. So now it's not using any extra system resources, which is good news for everybody. So, um, as set with file association, you probably don't want to set any of this because you're probably using something way better like uh, uh, Media Player Classic is what I suggest um, for everything else. So that's a quick guide on how to set up Power DVD with with trimming all the fat and all the useless useless um, features out of here. So now you got straight up. I don't even open this, but you got straight up. Uh, Unless you want to, you know, play a movie or something. Uh, you got the straight up player. So if I wanted to, like, play a movie. Let's go check out my server qu quickly. So if I wanted to play a movie, all you have to do is you can either hit play. No disk and drive X. Of course not. Okay, so that's how you play. I should have mentioned that's how you play movies if you have a disk in there. If you have a file, you go up here. Ah, uh, you don't even do that. Just go back to, uh, just go back to home. Take a file. Take a file, drag, drop it. Which is the easiest way of doing that.
pop it, go back home. You could see temporarily playlist now playing, so if, you know, now you're on now playing. This is why I don't care too much for using the media library. You could right click it. You could go play with Power DVD as well. It is your king's command. Um, we'll go to my music quickly, jump over to pick a track. Same thing, just right click. <laughs> having to deal with any of the BS that Power DVD normally comes with. I am quite surprised with this version though because it doesn't actually install any services for the first time in like a long time. Power DVD didn't put anything in here. So that's good news for all Power DVD users. So um, it is, it's, it's, I, I actually suggest it's a great piece of software if you need to play your Blu-ray discs, your 3D discs or DVD discs strictly for that um or just any media file but don't i can't stress this enough don't set up the cloud don't set up the media library rename the one file in the directory to dot back so that way it doesn't load when the app loads and it doesn't crash the app it doesn't make the app unstable it just keeps the agent from starting because when you close power dvd the agent doesn't actually close as you notice as neither does the media library so if you completely clear out the media library and uh disable the agent eventually after you restart the pro kill all the processes and restart power dvd a few times like the third time as you saw is it will only load the two processes and that's all you need just the two processes and when you finally done doing what you're doing you just close power dvd and it exits out of your system like it should so is it worth 108 bucks for a simple player that i think should be stripped down to how i got it stripped down it should even be stripped down a bit more further with a more simpler ui app um it's not worth 108 bucks not for just a simple media player once you strip it down get rid of all the useless stuff it's just strictly a simple media player that does blu-ray dvds and whatnot is it worth about the 50 bucks i i would say it's probably worth about the 49.99 dollar mark because you're at this point all you're paying for is the uh authentication in the codex and whatnot to read blu-rays and dvds so if you're a steam user on the edge of thinking of buying this because you need a, if you desperately need a Blu-ray player or a 3D player or some sort of disc player for your PC, then I guess drop the 108 bucks on it. But if you can hold out, wait till a sale for at least a 50% off or something, and then buy it, is the way I would go on that. Um, so yeah, the player is nice. It does use a, it does use more memory and more. It uses one extra process compared to, compared to um. Media Player Classic or VLC for Windows, um, Windows 8. So it is a little bit more resource hungry, but it does the job that it's supposed to do. And if you trim it down, it does it even quicker. Hope you guys learned something. Hope maybe this made a decision if you want to buy it or not. It's all good. Um, but that's my suggestion on how to trim the fat out of uh, Power DVD. Later.